The biggest challenge in my view is adapting to the rate of change of uh, technology. Every two or three years we see new ideas emerging, the technology is changing and what it means is that we should have an openness to adapt to these new changes and willing to learn something new, willing to let go of things that we have learned in the past and innovate or during the process. Okay, these will be the key challenges. India has been in the forefront of real estate technology for a while and there are a few established players and there are some new players who are in the market and there are few who are doing end-to-end -end product development they are only into some specific domains of uh, technology and if you look at all this in my view functional verification that is verifying the product and then physical design at the back end of uh, the chip development and then analog design these are all three important skills that most of the people are looking for. I don't think there is any major difference in the skill that is needed for product development or for the services industry. Uh, but the, the, difference, uh, the difference that comes from is in your attitude or in what is needed for building a product and what is needed when you are moving into services. Uh, product companies look for deep domain skills, deep knowledge into building a product while services company expect you to be nimble to move from one product line to the other and then learn uh, uh, multiple tools when you are building these products. And we have seen this problem ourselves in, uh, uh, when we are hiring people who come from services, they want to move from one product to the other without building deep uh, domain skills. Whereas a product uh, so folks will not want to, want to go and do services type of operation. They don't want to mess around with multiple skills. So while there is no difference in the skills that are needed uh, between product development and services, uh, you need to be nimble enough to adapt to uh, different skills and product lines in the case of services. Product development requires deep technical knowledge or deep domain skills while services company move from tools to tools from uh, you need to work on cadence tool once and then mentor graphics for the other customer and then you will move from product line one product line to the other so you should be nimble enough to adapt to these changes okay and in my view these are all the two big differences between uh, a product development and a services development. IEEE blended learning program is a great initiative uh, to bridge the gap between academy and industry. It takes a while for uh, the industry to hone the skills of uh, students who are coming straight out of college and they are like uncut diamonds and it takes uh, patience and time to uh, make them sparkle. And uh, this blended learning program in my view is a great initiative and to make this process faster and get the students ready for the industry earlier.